Over the past few months, your rank in CSGO has probably gone down. Turns out that Valve has been fiddling with the size of each rank. This was revealed over on Reddit by Brian Lev, a Valve developer. He doesn't give a definite answer as to why the ranks shifted up in the first place, but implies that an influx of players broke the system and that it's now all fixed, with a new update meaning that the average player rank will remain around Gold Nova 4 from now on. For this video, the very kind people over at CSGO Squad provided me with data for all of the ranks since mid-November last year. The site also contains individual player stats and live game searches. I've provided a link in the description of this video if you'd like to see this for yourself. They don't track every player, but have a considerable sample size and their stats show a very obvious downward trend since the middle of December through to the middle of January this year. According to their data, the median rank dropped by 5, from Master Guardian Elite right down to Gold Nova 2. This shift will affect you more the lower your rank was in the first place, as is nicely shown in Rambo Fight's diagram here. What this means is that if you were Global Elite before, then you'll either still be at that rank or will have dropped by 1 to Supreme. However, if you were Gold Nova 1 before, then you'll have shifted right down to Silver 2. If you're moaning that you were Global Elite but now you're only DMG or whatever, then you probably weren't very active, in which case the drop could have been far greater. Which is actually what happened to myself. After this update, you can see that the player base is more evenly distributed across all of the skill levels. Getting out of Gold Nova now means that you're an above average player, and getting to Global Elite means that you're in the elite of CSGO. I'd like for fewer players to be in the lower silver ranks, but overall I think that the new ranks better represent the skill of the players, rather than having everybody bunched in the top few ranks. Not that this shift will change your games. You'll still be matched up with and against people of the same skill as before. You'll all just appear to be a lower rank. When he's not being a bot, Valve developer Vitali also posts on Reddit and he explained a while ago that what actually matters is your hidden rating that you'll never see. You hear that everyone? Your visible rank is just a picture that only means as much as it represents. Before, the Global Elite badge meant that you were in the top 3% of players. Now it means that you're well within the top 1%. The definition of each rank has changed and we need to accept this, rather than banging on about how unfair it all is and that our EPs have been damaged. I hope that this new distribution of players remains the same forever. This would mean that any future changes to your rank are because your skill relative to everybody else has changed, which is really what it's all about. Ultimately, people are always going to complain. Before this update, people moaned that Global Elite was too easy and that new, higher ranks were needed. We don't need more. We just need the existing ones to better represent a skill group within the game, and making the highest and lowest ranks more elusive will do just that. What needs to change now is our attitude. We don't need to reach a higher rank to tell us that we're getting better. In fact, as the game matures, it's an achievement to even keep the same rank as before. Your average player is now better than they were a year ago. We just don't see our improvement because everybody else is also getting better. Yes, this update has made reaching the top rank more of an achievement than ever before. And yes, having a visible rank may have given many of us a reason to play in the first place. But really, we need to find better excuses to play this game. Chasing higher ranks isn't the long-term solution, but playing the game because it's worth it is. <laughs> <laughs>